Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math or lumped algebra problem. So here we have c plus 4 whole square equals to 36 and we solve this problem for the values of c. So here uh, students, uh, we uh, I can just solve this problem for two methods and I hope so you like both of these methods. And if you have any other method in your mind, please don't hesitate to write this method in the comment section. So uh, first we will discuss here our method number one. So uh, in first method, um, we need to focus uh, in the right hand side. So here we have this is 36 and uh, we move this 36 in the left hand side and it will be written as C plus 4 whole square. <clears throat> this is minus 36 equals to 0. And now here in the next step, we rewrite this equation as in this form c plus 4 whole square minus this is 36 and we write this 36 as 6 square and this whole equation equals to 0. And after this step, we will apply here this algebraic formula. You know that if we have a square minus b square, it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b. So according to this nice formula, we write our above equation as, so here you see that our a is c plus 4 and our b is 6. And uh, when we apply this formula, we write our above equation as in this form, this is c plus 4 minus this is b and our b is 6 and this is a plus b. Here our a is c plus 4 and plus our b is 6 and this whole equation equals to 0. And now in the next step we need more simplification and we write it as this is 4 minus 6 equals to minus 2 into c and this is 4 plus 6 equals to 10 and this whole equation equals to 0. So here we write the zero uh, product formula. So you know that if we have two numbers a and b, uh, the product of two numbers a b equals to zero. So this implies that uh, either uh, a equals to zero or b equals to zero. So here we will apply uh, this nice rule. So according to this rule, we write here our uh, first factor equals to 0 either our first factor equals to 0 or our second factor equals to 0 this is c plus 10 equals to 0 and now here uh, from first factor we easily get the value of c is equals to 2 and now here in the second factor we easily get the value of c is equals to minus 10. So we have uh, these two values of C which we get here uh, of our above given question and now uh, this is the final answer. Now we move towards our second method uh, and in second method uh, we will again solve our given question so that first we copy down given question statement here. It is C plus 4 whole square equals to 36. And now here uh, in this method, we need to focus in the left hand side and in the left hand side we have this is c plus 4 whole square. So here we will apply this nice formula. Uh, if we have a plus b whole square, it is equals to a square plus b square plus 2 times of ab. So according to this formula, you see here our a is c and our b is 4. So when we expand this formula according to this, we write our above equation as this is c square plus 4 square plus 2 times of c into 4 and it is equals to 36. And now here further in the next step we have this is c square plus this 4 square equals to 16 and plus this is 2 times of 4 becomes 8c and here we move this 36 in the left hand side so it will becomes minus 36 and this whole equation equals to 0. So here we obtain uh, c square plus we write this term as 8c and this is 16 minus 36 equals to minus 20 
and this whole equation equals to zero so you see here uh, this equation uh, will become quadratic in c variable so here we have three methods to solve the quadratic equation so that the first method is a factorization method and the second method is completing square method and the third method is quadratic formula so now here in this question we will apply uh, the quadratic formula in order to solve this problem so for this we first write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are capital a is equals to 1 capital b is equals to 8 and capital c equals to minus 20 uh, and here we state the quadratic formula as c is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a this is the our uh, quadratic formula and now we substitute the values of uh, a b and c here so the value of b is 8 so when we put it here it will becomes minus 8 plus minus square root of b square so b is 8 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is minus 20 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1 and now further in the next step we have this is minus 8 plus minus square root of 8 square so our 8 square equals to 64 and this is minus times of minus becomes plus and 4 times of 20 equals to this is 4 0 is a 0 and 4 2 is a 8 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 equals to 2 and now in the next step we need to sum up uh, 80 plus uh, uh, 64 uh, and uh, uh, when we add uh, 80 plus uh, 64 then we obtain 144 so we get minus 8 plus minus square root of 144 divided by 2 uh, and here we know that uh, the square root of 100 and uh, uh, 44 is equals to 12 so we write it as this is minus 8 plus minus 12 divided by 2 here we we'll break this value and we write here the positive value it is minus 8 plus 12 divided by 2 and here we write the negative value it is minus 8 minus 12 divided by 2 so we obtain here our c is equals to minus 8 plus 12 becomes 4 divided by 2 and here we have c equals to minus 8 minus 12 becomes minus 20 divided by 2 so you get this is 2 times of 2 is 4 we have c equals to 2 and in this case we have this is 2 times of 10 is 20 and we get c equals to minus 10 so we again get the same answer which we get from method 1 uh, and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos